Hey guys, Bunchy Bride here. Today we're gonna to make this beautiful standing chandelier with supplies from the Dollar Tree. So if you have a few minutes and you wanna make one too, stay tuned. So this is my inspiration picture that I saw on Pinterest. And this is the, my creation. And my ceremony is going to be outside. And I just wanted something to line the walkway and look at, make it look more like an entrance. I found these tumbler cups at the Dollar Tree and they come in packs of two. And I'm just going to glue them together with my E6000 glue. I believe I used four packs all together. And here I'm just attaching my 9 inch floral frame to my plastic bowl top. Both items I also got from the Dollar Tree. The bowl tops come in a pack of two. And the bowls are included. Which is what I'm using to hold my flower heads in. Now I'm just taking the flowers that I took off the stem and trimmed down pretty short and hot gluing them onto the ring. I'm putting them close together but not on top of each other and then I did go back in later and glue some of the petals down to the floral ring to try and uh, cover up any of the green gap and fill in any gaps. Kind of like I did when I made my floral runner. And all these flowers are from the Dollar Tree. It's around Valentine's Day so this is basically the best time to go and get them. Okay, now that that row is done, I'm going to attach some flowers to the top. Just to, you know, cover up the green foam and to make it look more fuller. And I did the same thing. Uh, just, you know, placed it in a way where I tried to cover up as much as the green as I could. And I um, glued some of the petals down to it as well. And I'm watching Gotham here, which is why I keep pausing. Have you guys ever seen this show? It started off slow, but it's gotten really good. And some crazy things are happening right now. I won't ruin it for anybody, but it's definitely something you should check out. And of course, no project of mine is complete without some bling. So I'm just adding some bling wrap along where I um, glued the cups together to just hide that, hide the seam and just, you know, add a little extra oomph to it. And I forgot to mention the part where I actually went and spray painted the cups. I did about three coats of spray paint. Some more crazy stuff just happened on Gotham right there.
This is a roll of iridescent garland that I ordered off Amazon and it's a hundred feet long and I chose iridescent versus the clear because when the light hits the iridescent it actually gives a little bit of a shine versus just the regular clear acrylic beads they had. And I'm just going to take some hot glue onto one of the beads and attach it to the floral foam ring. And I burned myself so many times with this guy so be careful. And I'm just placing the beads in between every flower. And here she is, guys. She is so pretty. I really love it. And I want to say this project took me no more than $30 to make. Now, right here in the middle is where I'm going to place the glue. And that's where I'm going to attach um, this onto the cups. Just press down nice and firm. I use my E6000 glue to attach this. And here it is. Isn't she lovely, guys? I love this. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Check the description box for all the supplies used. And don't forget to like us on Facebook and Instagram. Until next time, see you later.